There's never a dull moment at Glenfinnan House. Manya and Duncan Gibson have run the hotel for 15 years now. They take care of the guests and the kitchen. Under their management, the hotel has won a host of accolades. Glenfinnan House lies on picturesque Loch Shiel. It's a country mansion built in the 18th century. Here in Scotland's West Highlands, tourism is a seasonal trade, though the summer months are always busy. But local businesses have also had a bit of good luck. With films like Harry Potter, it's just been phenomenal, especially in the Loch Harbour area, because they filmed uh, a lot of the Harry Potter movies in the area. We've had the film team staying here uh, many times as well. That's because just a stone's throw away from the hotel, Harry Potter's train crosses the world-famous Glenfinnan Viaduct every day. Before Harry Potter's time, Glenfinnan and the surrounding area was just a remote region on Scotland's west coast. Now it's a tourist magnet. But Brexit could change all that, because workers from other EU countries may no longer be welcome here. I think the, the risk is that we don't have enough workers in the area to cover the summer months and all the restaurants and hotels uh, because we, we really struggle. We've tried to work with a local job centre to find workers locally and we've, we've just found it impossible. If Britain forces EU nationals to leave, Manya would be personally affected too. Although she's lived in the UK for nearly 20 years, she's German. The children were kind of worried when they heard about Brexit, especially the youngest one. And she was like, oh no, mum, you have to leave now. And I said, I don't think it's going like this. But, you know, it's, it's a big talking point, you know, in the family and within the school, you know, in the whole family life. In spring, the west coast of Scotland looks like something out of a storybook, with its rolling hills, flowering gorse, and tranquil bays. In the high season, the train steams by Glenfinnan twice a day. It winds its way through the highlands, then runs along the coast. The tiny fishing village of Maleg is the end of the line. Some 15,000 tourists flock here every month. For residents of this remote region, it's a bit of magic worthy of Harry Potter himself. I think the train is very important to the, uh, the fishing village of Malag, uh, bringing the number of people that we do uh, every day through the season. Um, without the train, there's just the, the one road into Malag, so the, the businesses here would suffer. Malag's fishing industry is in decline, so locals operate hotels, restaurants and cafes instead. The region relies heavily on tourism. Over 200,000 jobs depend on it. Duncan Gibson is in the kitchen, whipping up some fine Scottish cuisine. The award-winning chef makes a trip to Glenfinnan House a culinary treat, too. The restaurant is popular. Its waitstaff come from Bulgaria, Hungary, and Lithuania. This is Monica's first season here, but she's been to Britain often. When I came here this time, it was something different in airport. They asked me a few questions, and like, why I came here? Constantine is another of the 10 non-British EU nationals working at Glenfinnan House. Last year he was a bartender. Now he's working his way up to deputy hotel manager. He thinks Britain needs workers like him. If that happens with all the EU workers here at the same time, I think there's going to be rebellion or something. Because I don't think that the British economy can exist without the EU workers here. They don't have the people to sustain the economy. Mania says without workers from the continent, they might as well close down. What about her personally? Well, I could apply for British citizenship as well. Um, I kind of hope I don't have to. I kind of hope everything will still be in place and that um, things and laws are put in place for European citizens living here on a permanent basis and have been living here for a long time as well. 
Outside, Glenfinnan receives a visit from a stranger who needn't worry about being asked to leave. Manya Gibson and her staff hope things will turn out all right for them in the end. But since Britain voted to exit the EU, they face an uncertain future. <laughs>